Hello AP Physics 1, it's Mr. Ng, and I am here to go over example 421, probably the most important example out of chapter 24. Um, here, uh, a skier in figure 434, I copied it right here, has just begun descending a 30 degree slope. Okay, so this is 30 degrees. Assuming the coefficient of friction is 0.1, meaning it's pretty darn smooth, it's snow on skis, uh, find her acceleration and her speed. So finding the acceleration is the one that's going to be a little bit goofy. Um, there are a few, there are two big things to know about this problem. Um, number one is we got to figure out um, what the components of gravity are and then we got to know that um, masses are going to cancel. I know for you you're reading this and you're like that's it? Like what, what happened to mass? What happened to mass? Right? Um, like many physics problems, mass is going to cancel. So don't worry about mass just yet. So right now I would do, I would write as much as we can and then let's see what will happen to mass. Hint, hint, it's going to cancel. But before we talk about all that, um, let's talk about the components of gravity. So right now we have this thing. Oh man, look at how good my triangle is. Uh, and this is 30 degrees, right? And we know that to find the friction, we need to figure out F normal. And we don't know F normal, but we do know this thing is mg. So how do we find F normal from mg? So this is kind of goofy, and it's going to be counterintuitive to what we've done so far. Uh, I want you to give, to draw a line here that this is 90 degrees. Right now, let's make this thing mg. So this vector is now mg. All right, so now mg becomes a hypotenuse. So that means if this is a hypotenuse, this is 30. If you know that this is 30, this is um, 90 minus 30. That means this is 30. So if this is theta, this is 90 minus theta. That means this is theta right here, right? So this little angle becomes theta. That means this thing, this thing going along it, which is going to be called um the x right this is kind of the the you know going horizontally for the skier this x it sucks but this x is going to be mg sine theta i know for the longest time we've been telling you um x is um you know f f cosine theta we always associated cosine with horizontal but for these little incline problems um, the x is going to be sine theta, and you have to just kind of redraw this thing. That means um, the Fn, right, if we make this into a parallelogram, the Newtons, uh, I mean the, the normal force is going to be mg cosine theta, okay? Um, if you don't want to get confused, if you don't want to draw these over and over again, just memorize it. Going down the hill is going to be mg sine theta and normal force is going to be mg cosine theta okay so let's just start there and let's um let's readdress this problem so a skier has begun descending a 30 degree slope we know that this is mg we know that this is going to be mg uh, sine theta and we know that normal force is going to be mg cosine theta, right? Assuming the coefficient of the kinetic friction is 0.1, calculate her acceleration. Well, I mean, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to do sum of forces, right? Sum of forces, uh, it's going down this way, so it's going to be um, the force of gravity along the x minus the force of friction right um that's going to equal to the mass times acceleration seems easy enough um to solve for acceleration Ooh, let's fill it in uh so um f of g x is right here this is m g sine theta minus the f of friction which is going to be newtons all right this is f of n here this is not Newton's uh, normal force. Uh, this is going to be normal force times the friction coefficient. 
the friction coefficient is going to be 0.1. So it's going to be 0.1 times mg cosine theta. Does, does that make sense, right? This is normal force. This is a friction coefficient. We just multiply them together. And all of that is equal to ma. And check this out. It's got an m. This has got an m. That's got an m. It's a very common thing in physics. The masses all cancel. So that means acceleration is equal to uh, gravity times sine theta minus 0.1 times gravity cosine theta. If you uh, fill in for gravity, so sine theta is uh, so sine theta is sine times 30 minus 0.1 gravity cosine theta cosine 30. If you plug this all in, uh, you should get um, acceleration to be 0.41 of gravity or uh, 4.05 meters per second squared. Okay, because these are all numbers, or you just plug it into the lousy calculator. Awesome. So we have an acceleration 40.05. Part B, the speed she will reach after 40 seconds. Wow, it sounds like a whole kinematics uh, thingamajig. VVATX. Uh, v initial is zero, it started from rest. V final, we don't really know. We want to find that out. Acceleration is 0 0.05 meters per second squared. Time is four seconds. Don't care about x. So I think I'm going to use the equation V final is equal to V initial plus acceleration times time. So V final is equal to zero plus 4.05 meters per second squared times 4 seconds. Seconds will cancel out. So V final is equal to 16.2 um, meters per second. Um, if you're um, nitpicky about sig figs, only two sig figs. So V final is equal to 16 meters per second. Awesome. So um, trickiest thing about this question is number one you gotta know that along the surface it's mg sine theta the normal force is mg cosine theta just know that and then number two know that the masses will cancel and that should have gotten you through the problem i hope that helps thanks a lot for being such a patient student i really love how you're working so hard thank you